terms and phrases pertaining to transness. So recently I've actually been receiving a lot of comments that make me think you guys like are maybe confused about what it means to be trans and what it means uh, to not be, I guess. Uh, before I really delve into this video, I just ask you guys to be kind. I have acne. Things are growing out of my face. First off, let's define what gender is. Gender, according to the dictionary, is either of the two sexes, male and female, especially when considered with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. That's important. The term also is used more broadly to denote a range of identities that do not correspond to established ideas of male and female. So gender identity is a person's perception of having a particular gender which may or may not correspond with their birth sex. Sex. It is a noun, and it is either of the two main categories, male and female, into which humans and most other living things are divided on the basis of their reproductive functions. My gender is male, but I was assigned female at birth based on, you guessed it, what's in my pants. Evolutionarily, it's important to know Who's impregnating who? Whom? Who's impregnating whom? The great thing about human beings is that now we can reproduce in like a multitude of different ways. They all end up with the same result. We don't necessarily need to know that anymore to be able to make new humans, which is really cool. Uh, you have now people such as myself who have come out to the world and said, wait a second, I was assigned female, but that's incorrect. You're a cis person, right? You were assigned male at birth and you just go around knowing that you're a guy. Like you don't feel the need to like exclaim it or prove it to people. It just is the matter of fact. Does that make sense? and everybody acknowledges you as a guy, so you don't ever have to question who you are or your personal identity. When a person is transgender, typically we experience this thing called gender dysphoria, which just simply means that like you're uncomfortable in the gender you have been assigned. And your gender identity is the gender that you are comfortable in, that you're not uncomfortable in, if that makes sense. The one that feels natural to you. And that manifests in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people, and again, that's gonna be another video entirely, but that's what it means to be transgender. That's it, it's just that you do not identify with the gender you were assigned at birth, you identify with a different one because the one you're assigned at birth makes you uncomfortable, and the one that you identify with and as feels comfortable and it just makes sense. The reason transgenderness, I guess, is so hard to explain is because how do you explain being uncomfortable? How do you explain thinking that something is there or something should be there and it's not to somebody who's never experienced it? And so that's why you have a lot of people trying to put being trans into words and struggling with it. And you also have people who are non-binary, and this is a, another word. A person who's non-binary is somebody who doesn't identify as male or female specifically, either they're somewhere in between or somewhere outside. And to be completely honest, for me, it's really hard to wrap my head around non-binary gender identities. And it's funny because in my process of coming out, I initially identified as gender fluid, which is a form of non-binary gender identification, which basically means sometimes you feel like a guy, sometimes you feel like a girl, except I always felt like a guy and I never felt like a girl. That's kind of how I knew, like, oh, I'm a trans guy. Now we're going to talk about sexuality. Alright, so what prompted this whole video, really, was a few comments, but one of the main ones 
was a person saying that I'm making my life, although they're just referring to my YouTube channel, all about my sexuality, and that's not the case. I don't think I really talk about my sexuality these days because that's not really something I'm really comfortable talking about over the internet. I know that sounds funny com coming from somebody who has the job that I have. Sexuality is who you enjoy doing like adult, not safe for work things with. So for example, if you are a woman who is into men or a man who is into women, you're straight. And if you're a man who's into men, you're gay. If you're a woman who's into women, you're a lesbian. If you're a person who's into men and women, then you're bisexual. If you're a person who is into men and women and non-binary people, then you're pansexual. And that's, that's kind of it. I know there are like other sexualities. If you're someone who is like sex repulsed or you're just not into the idea of having sex with other people, then you're asexual. Like, there are different levels of all of those things that I just described, but that's the gist. So this is where the gender and the sexuality kind of converge, in that when you're a trans man who's into men, you're gay. And if you're a trans woman who's into women, then you're a lesbian. And if you are a trans guy who's into women, then you're straight. And if you're a trans girl who's into men, then you're also straight. Like, that, it's not that hard of a concept, but I just wanted to clarify that I'm making my channel about my transition, not entirely, but as a big part because my goal with this channel when I started it out, like, I want to be able to look back for myself and have this, like, basically a, a photo album of look how I've grown, not just, you know, changed physically, but as a person, look how I've evolved and changed. I've, I've spent my whole life or the majority of my life being required to exist silently. I don't want to be silent anymore about myself. I'm tired of being required to present as someone and something that I'm not. And there's so much, there is so much that I want to tell you guys. So I just, I want to wrap up this video by saying thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting and following and sharing this video with others. Thank you for responding to it. I, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you have to say. Um, I hope that this has given you a bit more of a light and uh, a perspective into what it means to be transgender and the difference between gender, sex, and sexuality. Those are three very key terms that I think in order to watch and appreciate my channel and the channel of other trans YouTubers, you really need to know what those are. And as always, I encourage you to just do your own research and educate yourself. It's important. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Jackalope tribe, and earn your antlers, and don't forget to follow me on all the social media links listed below. If you ever see a rude comment on any of my videos, counteract it with some positivity, please, because I want to sort of show that, like, good can always outweigh and, like, triumph over the bad. Does that make sense? Welcome to day five of Vlogmas. We're gonna hit day six here in a second, gonna talk about... ROTC. Alright, peace out, home skillet biscuits. Here we go, let's talk about trans terms. So, <coughs> yeah.